Hello students, here we will be seeing about searching and sorting algorithm in data structure. It is a very important concept. Before seeing this, we will uh, see some uh, ideas about time complexity. Time complexity measures the time taken to execute each statement of code. It deals with quantification of the amount of time taken. Constant running time is uh, order of 1, faster asymptotic. Uh, then comes log with log, logarithmic, sublinear, linear, linear 2, then quadratic, order of n square, cubic, order of n cube, polynomial, order of n power k, for example, 10 square 100, similarly, uh, n k, then exponent, e power n, e means 2 power 10, that is 1024, very large uh, quantity, then factorial, order of n, square, uh, n factorial, okay, uh, these two are uh, NP type, non-polynomial time, so uh, in uh, most of the cases, <coughs> we cannot calculate this huge numbers okay so <clears throat> the order will be order of 1 then comes order of log n then order of n then order of n log n and so on okay now uh, here we will be seeing some 12 uh, sorting algorithms searching and sorting sequential binary bubble sort selection sort insertion sort Cell short, merge, heap, quick, tree, counting, radix, bucket, topological. Okay. And here, time complexities are here. Best case, average case and worst case. Among these 12, few are stable sort, few are in place sort and few are not in place uh, sort. We will be seeing about all these things in detail in the next uh, few lectures. Okay, here we will be seeing about bubble sort, selection sort and insertion sort in detail. These three bubble sort, selection sort and insertion sort are comparison based sorting algorithms. <coughs> bubble sort, is a, is, it is easier to code slow simplest sorting approach but slower uh, in bubble sort it makes several pass passes over an input array okay here bubble sort sort from largest number to smallest number okay uh, now let's see how it is working let's take an example 23 15 29 11 and 1 these are the array elements, 5 elements. Now, we need to perform sorting using bubble sort. First, let us take these two numbers, 23, 15. See, which is uh, smallest. The smallest will come here. Okay, sorting means arranging. So, we need to arrange in ascending order. So, 15 will be coming here and 23 will be coming here. Next, compare these two. 23 and 29. No need. It is already arranged. So, leave it off. Then, next line. 29 and 11. You need to interchange. Okay. So, it is coming like this. Then, uh, next uh, line. 29 and 1. So, we need to interchange. So, 1 coming here and 29 going there. So, in bubble sort, you need to uh, understand one thing. Always, this uh, sort will fix the largest number after one pass. Okay, so among these 5 elements, the largest is being fixed here. Next, we can uh, repeat the same process. Okay, take this line. Okay, 15 and 23, no change. Then 23 and 11, yes, we need to interchange. 11 comes here and 23 goes here. Next line, 23 and 1, we need to interchange. Okay, after this pass, you see it is fixing the last two digits of the array okay next um, we uh, let's start from the uh, this line 11 15 and 11 you need to interchange then 
next uh, in this line will be like this then 15 and 1 yes interchange okay and after this pass you see the largest of the array last three elements are being fixed okay then we, uh, let's start 11 and 1 you need to interchange and after that any possibility no that's all so the entire process gets sorted using bubble sort okay so uh, its time complexity is uh, best case is order of n sometimes n square and worst case and average case will be order of n square only space complexity is order of 1 and bubble sort is a stable sort okay remember this next we can uh, move on to selection sort selection sort repeatedly selects the next smallest element <coughs> That is, it is very efficient. Um, uh, why? Because minimum number of swaps only here. Okay. Mm, and also, it is useful in linked list swapping or uh, sorting concepts. Okay. So, now let us see this example. Let us take the same numbers. Here, the difference between bubble and selection is in bubble, <coughs> sorts from largest to, so, to smallest number. Here, sorts from smallest to largest. That is, in bubble every time the largest will be accumulated here in the last value as a la uh, last one but in selection uh, uh, the reverse case that is the smallest will be fixing here okay uh, let's see this example 23 15 9 19 29 11 and 1 <coughs> ij let's take okay you need uh, start uh, sorting uh, since uh, 23 is bigger uh, it is interchanging. Okay, Next, uh, in bubble sort, we used to do like this. Next, these two. Next, these two. But in selection, we are fixing one element. And we are comparing with all the other elements. Okay. So, 15. First, 15 and um, 23, 15. So, interchanging. The position is fixed. Next, 15 and 29. So, no need. We are leaving. Next, the position, okay, we are checking with the position, 11 and the next position, that is 1. And since 1 is smaller, you need to uh, interchange. So, after 1 pass, smallest number is fixed. So, next, from where we have to start? From this area, okay. From this to this, this to this, this to this, like this, okay. So, let us start, 23 and 29, no need. Then, 23 and 15, yes, we need to interchange. Then, this uh, second position, only from position, okay. So, second position and last position, yes, we need to interchange. After the end of the second pass, first two small elements are being fixed, okay. Next, where the pointer is coming? Here, in the third position. So, 3 and 4, 3 and 5, like this, okay. 3 and 4, yes, we need to interchange. 23 coming here and 29. Then 3 and 5, yes. So, you, you need to uh, swap the thing. So, afterwards, after the next pass, it is getting arranged. Okay. So, like this, the selection sort uh, algorithm is working. And uh, it is best case, worst case and average case. Everything is order of n square. It is a not a stable sort. Okay. Please remember this. Uh, last one is insertion sort. Insertion sort inserts every element into its proper position. Here, number of swaps reduced than bubble sort. For smaller values, its performance is good. That is, uh, it takes fewer comparisons only. Okay, so it is good. Okay, uh, in uh, online data sorting, this insertion sort is only being used. Okay, now let us see. At each step, it gets sorted. Each one by one, every step the uh, complete concept is um, getting sorted here. Okay. Now, let us take this example. Same example. 23, 15, 29, 11 and 1. First, let us see. Uh, the values given are 23, 15, 29, 11 and 1. Okay. These are the 5 values. Okay. Let us take. Uh, start from single elements. 23, then 23 and 15. Yes, you need to interchange. Then next comes the third number, 29. Okay. So, uh, immediately you check 
with the next number yes you need to interchange then so and uh, uh, then comes the last number immediately you need to interchange so uh, in every step some interchanging of elements are being uh, made that is at each step it gets sorted okay so uh, finally in a lesser number of steps this uh, algorithm is getting sorted okay so each and every step it has to be uh, sorted okay but in uh, bubble sort it's not like that it uh, it is following some phases passes similarly in selection also some uh, passes are being uh, followed but in uh, insertion we are not at all following any um, uh, concept like that immediately it inserts every element into its proper position okay here also its uh, best case is order of n worst case and average case is order of n square so it is a stable, a stable sort okay so you have to remember uh, by, when we compare these three this bubble sort and insertion sort are stable sort but the all its uh, worst case and average case time complexity are order of n square it's quadratic generally for technical interview preparation this topic is important this comparison and uh, everything is important uh, regarding space complexity i want to tell one thing order of one every all these three has order of one they don't need to take any extra space to sort therefore they are in place algorithm so you need to uh, know two terms stable sort in place algorithm okay so bubble sort is a stable sort as well as in place algorithm selection sort is not a stable sort but in place algorithm insertion sort is a stable sort and in place algorithm we will see the remaining algorithms in the next lectures thank you